Hello and welcome. My name is Greg Beasley. Today I want to teach you how to do a web quest. First I'd like you to go to Zoonal.com. When you arrive there you'll see at the home page there are several web quests that are listed by categories. I already have an account here. You can set one up free. So I'm going to log into mine and go to my web quest. Here I've already created a web quest for us to view today. This is a welcome page that tells your viewer is this something they actually want to participate in. So this gives information about a web quest and how a web quest can help learners to engage further and enhance student learning. There's an introduction section that also talks a little more about the web quest itself. In the task section, this is where you're going to tell the student exactly what they're going to walk away learning from following through in your web quest. The process is a step-by-step -step detailed layout for the student of which they will proceed through the web quest. Notice there are links here that I've provided that will allow the student to save a little time but it links them to other websites where they will find information that I've already placed up here in these steps. So look at a web quest like somewhat of a scavenger hunt on the internet. Evaluation is very detailed information to the student of what you are looking for to measure their knowledge through this web quest. Conclusions, a wrap up of everything that the web quest encompassed and also it can be a place that you can increase student learning by helping with a more of an abstract design of the information they've walked away with helping them think further of how they might build upon the knowledge they received through your web quest. Teacher page is helpful. It's also some, it, it is a page which you can communicate more specifics to the actual way you derived from, you know, with the web quest. You can also place credits here, which I've thanked Liberty University and Dr. David Holder for teaching such a wonderful class on educational technology. Here are other links which you can also update through your account and these are additional items if you pay a little bit for this service you are able to to use these particular features inside your web quest. So there's other web quests that are out there but Zoonal.com seems to be a very friendly interface to be able to do this and it's free. So enjoy creating web quests and have fun.